Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this part we're gonna make a whole body with clothes in easy way. First thing first I'm gonna adjust the sub tools in one folder. This sub tool is going to be his uh, chest and in this video I have kept uh, different parts of the body so you guys can understand how it works. Let's see. With simple sphere we can define whole hand if you know the trick and the trick is go for the silhouette whatever shape you want to make for example this is the hand which I'm gonna I'm making right so in this you can see I'm trying to first make out the silhouette silhouette is just an outline of the uh, subject it, it is a hand so I'm gonna uh, try to make a silhouette like outline for the hand then I can go to the detail of the hand itself muscles like uh, shapes where it should be like visible for the nerves and everything you can do afterwards first thing first you have to hit the base Here you can see with the reference I just make it out what to be perfect in the shape. As you can see I am using cylinder for the legs and there is a reason because legs gonna take longer than hands so we need a proper mesh to work with so I prefer to work with cylinder. Same technique for silhouette then for the details. With this technique you'll have the sub like the body part whatever you're trying to make fairly like easy way and quick.
and guys this is a new thing for the previous learning from my videos this this the in this video you will learn how to make a proper shoes foot whatever with this you guys can make it easy i have seen some people with like asking me like uh, personally how to make a leg how like foot or how to make a shoes this is the way to make it easiest way what they face the problem is the bottom it get out of the shape they want to keep it flat so this is the way you can do it easy way now it's a basic shape with this you can add more detail for the shoes or more detail for the actual foot you can go with from here you can go either way for the shoes or for the foot this is a basic mesh basic um, like what do you say a ground to work with Here I'm quickly just defining the for toes, nothing special here. And those who guys was keep asking me, my students who wanted to learn how to make hands this is a one of the way to make a hand so here we go Guys, this is a just like for the reference type how like your hand gonna be in this in this stage you can easily make um, fist or shape of like um, in a pose of pointing someone or any fingers movement you want it here you can do it and afterwards you can give a more detail to it it will look good. The same finger I'm using for thumb. Here I'm just uh, smoothing the tips to give a uh, finger look. Nothing is like this. extraordinary, it's just a base, basic.
here you can see I am trying to give a, a proper shape and trying to see how much like uh, difference is the active points compared to other subdivision like the sub tool so I need a roughly similar uh, number for the each sub tool because I'm gonna um, boolean all the sub tools in one so that I can easily give a flow easy flow and it looks good so for that I need to do this to just check each and everything then I'm gonna boolean to one sub tool then it will be great to work with And with this sub tools, you can easily change the shape as you like. Here you can see each and every sub tool is merged, but they have triangles, which is going to be very problematic to work with. So what I do here, I go into geometry, zero measure, and there is a keep group. And with that, it will activate one more option, smoothness. Keep smoothness to the zero and do zero measure one more time. It will give you really nice flow to work with. With that, you can go with smoothing out and reshape if you like to or if you need to. Here I'm just giving a base shape for the hand. I'm not focusing on anything special completely on body because he, he gonna have clothes. So his body is not gonna be visible. Here you can see I yeah this is the procedure I was talking about for the zero measure with this you can keep your sub uh, polygroups and the smoothness <coughs> here I'm just trying to define the shape for the clothes not for the body itself reason is uh, I'm gonna extract the clothes from the base um, body of it so you don't have to work from the scratch for the clothes it can be easily defined yeah about the fingers you can adjust it as you like it will be simple thing just um, use standard brush or clay builder anything whatever works for you then smooth it out if you feel like it's not working with you again do the zero measure with the same keep groups on and um, smooth groups should be zero so in with that you will have your groups according to the shape as the previous one Now you can see I'm trying to uh, perfectly align for the shots but doesn't matter you can keep a rough shape for the extracting you can go into the deformation and here polish polish crisp edge and polish uh, and polish by features this will work really nice. And if you have this kind of uh, edges, you can do zero measure one more time and go with the polished crisp edge that will work. Now here I'm just using move brush to define again the shape of the shots. Nothing special, nothing new.
if you want to make a straight line hold the shift then drag it release the shift button before you release the mouse click Here I just did the same thing for the face. I just boolean it and with the new f head, I just replace it. I just placed it here and just try to give it a proper shape. And if you guys wanted to do, uh, do merge face and body, you can, you guys can do the same thing for the boolean. It will give you same thing, same process, same effect.